grab the dandelions. Right in here, right in the bucket. Thank you. Look over here and smile. All right, guys. So we are making dandelion tea. Here are a bunch of flowers that we picked. It's a pretty big bowl. And then I also grabbed some dandelion leaves and we are going to dry them out too in the oven. So that's kind of what we're working on today. And these are the leaves after they were dried out. So we'll be having some tea later. We are baking all these at 250 in the oven. The leaves take about 30 minutes and the dandelions take anywhere between two to two to three hours. All right guys, so here is the result of the dandelion tea. Here are the dandelions after they got dried up inside the oven. And here are the leaves. All I'm gonna do is one teaspoon of each and that should be it in my little strainer that my wife has that I am using. And I'll be right back as soon as the water's done boiling and then I'll give you guys a review. All right, so before I drink this tea, and I give you guys a review on how it tastes. I want to go through some health benefits that I think are really important to keep in mind when drinking this tea. One of the biggest things that I love because I tend to deal with high blood pressure is the fact that this tea is really high in potassium. And if you do your studies in potassium, it actually helps lower your blood pressure. So there are many food groups out there that you can eat or you can dry up and add to teas or make a juice out of that will help lower your blood pressure. One of the next benefits is that it helps your liver filter out toxins more effectively to allow the blood flow in your body to do better. So I want you to keep in mind when drinking this tea on what it could actually help you for your health and for your future health. Okay, so if I had to explain how this tea tastes, I would kind of tend to correlate it more to a straight up just chamomile tea. It's very light, it's not too strong. So the first thing I wanna say is, you can tell that I'm wearing a different t-shirt, that's because I realized that I accidentally deleted a part of the video. Yeah, that's my luck. Anyways, what I was saying is this tea tastes much like chamomile, where it's very light in flavor and not very strong. If you really enjoy flavored teas, what I would do is add a little bit of mint or add a little bit of lavender, find a flavor that you enjoy and add it to this so then you can have a little bit more of a flavor and maybe it's more to your liking. So to finish off this video, I just want to motivate you to go out, forage some dandelions, dry them up and make yourself a tea so that you can have enough to make it through the next year before the next dandelion season. So guys, just go out, grow a garden, get some chickens, get whatever it is that you want to do, but become more self-sufficient. Have a good one.